Hi everyone, welcome to the studio today. I have what I think is a really exciting program planned for you. Um, I'm gonna start out with my demo right away. Uh, I But I just wanna talk about the variation series. So the demo is gonna be, I'm just gonna revisit my variation series from 2019 and um, I, I love doing these. Uh, I, I've probably done over 400 versions of this little scene uh, because even after I did the initial series, I continued to do them. I continued to do them as demos. I also did them whenever I felt like I, I just wanted to kind of warm up and just get into a flow and just... Um, have some sort of satisfaction around painting if I was feeling stuck or it always felt like a little, nice little place like a home base to head to if I wanted if I needed it. Now let me just talk about the series a little bit because um, some people think uh, that it oh what ask me what place it is it's an entirely imaginary scene pretty simple composition in fact, it's not, I don't even think it's that great of a composition, actually, that, that river going down the center. It's fine. It works. Uh, the other thing people think that are, were you doing different seasons or different times of day? Nope. I really wasn't doing that either. I was really just seeing how many times I could make the different value and color combinations work. And that was, that was it. I also didn't try necessarily to do one a day. Sometimes I do about one a day. I did them over, I did the initial 100 over the course of about three months. So mostly I would do at least one a day. Sometimes I would do three or four a day. The only criteria I really had for them was they were all about the same size and they all had some amount of pastel in them. Initially, when I began, I pretty much stuck to just straight pastel. But as I moved along, I started adding in some mixed media and different types of underpainting. So it really changed everything for me. I, I ended up writing the article for Pastel Journal, and it's on the cover of Pastel Journal, which was really wonderful, wonderful um, experience working with them. And it was obviously super great exposure, but more than the exposure, it was really changed my entire working method. Just the way I approached pastel in general was just completely, utterly changed. So it was really um, just the, the whole thing was amazing. And the poster and and I made a little blurb book on them. So it was really, really um, just delightful. And I'm uh, really glad to be revisiting them for you guys today. Uh, I, I have a lot of stuff to talk to you today about, a lot to celebrate, um, including some additional amazing announcements in addition to year five. So um, stick around. I have lots, lots to talk about today. And I'm going to start start with painting, which is really a nice thing, um, just to get right into my demo. And just to clarify really quick, these were from 2009, right? 2009, yeah, it's a long time ago now. So maybe you can yeah. get that back issue, but I don't know, maybe it's possible. Yeah, I think you can. Um, but it's still journals yeah. pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. I was just leafing through that issue this morning and was looking at some of the other artists featured in that um, that issue, some really amazing artists, a woman named Felicity House, who is a UK artist who I hadn't remembered her. Um, and wow, I was really kind of blown away by her, her uh, combination of drawing and painting in her work. But anyway, um, let me, I better get a hair band. Hey, um, hey Kev, could you? Yeah, horn and hospital. Yeah. Oh wait, I think I might have one. Let me see. Nope. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, so today, um, this first one is on anthracite pastel mat. 
and I've just marked off my little square. Um, now this happens to be a paper, this anthracite has a little bit, I find it has a tiny bit of, of a different texture than a lot of the other um, pastel matte colors. Um, and I'm not super wild about it, but because I buy the pads, I, I have a lot of this. So I'm like, okay, I, I better give it a second, second look and, and see if I can, if I, I, I like it. I always think that's a good thing to do. If I've got a certain bias about a particular material or paper, I always like to give it a few, a few opportunities. Because sometimes when we're at different points in what we're doing, we respond to things differently. So I think it's a good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna start in. And I, I, I can sort of do, do this uh, without even uh, thinking about it, really. I don't even have to, I don't, you done so many of these guys. So keep it nice and loose. Got a nice high horizon. So the division of the shapes is pretty, um, pretty good. This is pastel matte. It's the anthracite. And that's kind of all there is to that. And I do have in mind today a, a little bit of a color idea. I'm thinking I, I'm, I'm, I want sort of a moody, dark sky. And I'm going to play up on this. Um, kind of neutral situation with the um, with the gray here. Thinking maybe these would be nice bright orange. That's really really fun. And dark the base of the trees here. Get a little bit more, hmm, maybe even a little darker. And then let's see about something like this is a kind of a purpley gray, grayed purple. Was there an original reference photo, or did you do this? No, no, there wasn't. I made it up. It's entirely made up. No, never what? Never, ne there was never a reference photo. Yeah, people ask me that all the time. And I'm like, nope. What's that? I did. You did? Oh, yeah, you did. John, is there a reference photo today? Nope. <laughs> Some layer, color. Lay now, notice that I've got a little gradation here. I've, I've got a, a nice series of some different um, color. So I'm kind of using that, that broken color approach to, to get this gradation going. meaning that I'm adding a variety of colors that are similar values as I go up to, to down here. It's the, these, this, this green and the purple, and even, even this purple, these colors are, are close in value. This one's sticking out, because not because of its value, but because of its intensity. So um, do we have a, re a release date for the Terry Ludwig pastel set? No. So, so yeah, just stay tuned on that one. Yeah. It's going to be next year, guys. It's it's a next year thing. Yes, yeah, so I want a nice dark sky. Um, Maybe um, <coughs> so 
something in here. That's that's looking cool. Great. Uh, little little light on the edge of these trees. Ooh, that looks good. Fiery. Nice fiery sky. Um, maybe a little more something in there. And now um, for that that river. So that's just the tricky part. Super fun. Edges, letting letting the, that river can drift into the bank and vice versa. You don't need a ha this doesn't need to be hard edged. I want a variety of different kinds of edges within my piece um, to, to um, really these soft edges or and lost and found edges. Um, we humans, we don't we don't we when we're looking at something, the only part of our field of vision is in really um, hard edge or, or, or strong focus. And um, a, a lot of times I think pa painters think that all the edges in your piece have to be sharp. Um, and that's actually not how we see. Um, if you look at your hand and you put your hand in front of you, your hand's in focus. Everything else around it, it it's not in focus. Um, of course, nowadays with cameras, there are you know, fancy cameras that, that do that same thing. Used to be, though, you took a photograph and you sent it to infinity and everything was kind of in this equal edged focus. But we don't really want to paint like that. That's, that it's actually not very close to if you, realism if you're painting like that, um, which it seems a little counterintuitive. But um, so you really paying attention to those edges is really important. Okay, I want I want a little something here. Just playing up that. Okay, and then and then. Do you want to talk a little bit about? The, pa the edges on your pastel, how some of them are sharpened and some of them get sharpened from use. And yeah, I don't, there, there's, I don't really sharpen them. And people, I mean, there's a couple that are sharpened because I may, might be using them to, for signature, but I don't sharpen them. It's just, they have these points on them like this because of the, because of the way I'm tipping them into the paper. So they get worn to into those points. Um, I don't sharpen them. And I know it seems like, oh, does she sharpen those? Nope. Uh -huh. Which is kind of funny. Um, so that's looking good. What else? This is this really fun. Period wig. And I'm just going to build a little bit of texture in this. Um, I'm thinking about what I want to do back here. It's cool. Just with the mark making, just building a little bit of interest and texture going through. Now these harder pastels, I can, 
There's one in particular, the, the crimson new pastel. It's a really nice bright red. Oh, here's one. Um, and it just so happens that it doesn't, um, it, the pigment is such that it doesn't really um, show up very good on the pastel mat. But what it does do, it cuts through the layers of softer pastel. So it gives me this opportunity to get these kind of scratchy marks in there. And I love that. And now I'm going to come finally with a little bit of this in here. I think. And let's see, I want, I want, the, there's something missing up in here. And I'm going to see if I get a little, there we go. Yeah, I like that. This is a little warmer, a um, little lighter. I like that. I'll put both of these up on um, Etsy later today. Just they're they're fun. <laughs> and uh, approximately what size is this? I believe it's. I'll check. I think they're eight by eight. Let me see. Oh, I don't have my. I don't have my. Uh, Oh, here it is. No, that's not it either. I think it's eight by eight. Yeah, it is. It's eight by eight. Oh, totally. I, yeah, I've got the. And then one other thing I'm going to add here. I'm going to add this. Yeah, that's nice. This is a little bit brighter lavender. And that, that works really well in there. Let's take a look at it with the mat around it. Oh yeah, that's that's really that's fun. Um, and um, do you have any recommendations on how to come up with a, a composition out of, from from uh, just a, imaginary? Well, um, there's lots of principles of composition that you could rely on for um, developing a, 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 a imaginary scene. For me, it's really all about um, dividing uh, a, an, uh, a scene that you see into really strong, three to five strong value masses. So one of the things that I like to do is, um, you know, I'll just um, I'll look at a couple different photographs or, you know, if I'm plain air painting. And then from there, um, just make little thumbnails of ideas of compositions. Um, and I'll, I'll try to dig. I think I have my little book right here. Let me see. Yeah, I do. I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, so these, you went through many incarnations and possibilities. Yeah. And yeah. So, oh, here's, here's the page. This is the actual page of when I was coming up with this composition. So I'm playing with the placement of the trees. But before that, you see, I'll, I just do these. These are all from my, from my imagination. I'm not looking at anything when I'm doing these. I may have started with looking at one or two photographs, but really I'm just sitting with my ballpoint pen and coming up with ideas of like I can tell, I'm looking at this one, that one looks as though it was kind of from a photograph. But then I can tell from there I'm kind of um, imp imp improvising. Um, and these are definitely from my imagination. So just playing, just really getting in there, spending that, that time. And, and I'm, I can, I, as I'm looking at this, I can feel myself enjoying the process of just you know, scratching away and making compositions. So, all right. Okay, so now I have some fun stuff to talk to you about year five. Um, we're so 
Happy Year 5 is now uh, available on our website, paintinglessonswithmarla.com. And so I'm going to be sharing a video in a little bit to show you all the beautiful things that um, we prepared for you in Year 5. It's hard for me to believe I've been doing online training, digital online training since 19, uh, 2015 and painting lessons with Marla. Uh, dot com since 2019, which is uh, um, really incredible. It's hard to believe. I, I was. I have to think I'm a little bit of a pioneer of online art training, which is really kind of crazy. Um, but it's we've really reached a new space with um, monthly painting lessons on pastel painting lessons online. I think that I'm really really excited about and proud of. Um, my intent is always to have every one of my students experience the enormous joy that I have experienced throughout my adult life, really, of uh, the satisfaction of painting um, and the goals and the benchmarks that you might have are really the result of that joy, not, not the other way around, I think. Um, and I think every person that's ever struggled with the idea of being an artist or held a belief that, oh, maybe I can't do this or had some art teacher say, oh, you're not good enough or, oh, you ought to try a different career or just didn't feel supported in uh, their journey as an artist. Um, I hope you'll join us and transform that belief. Uh, and I want to support you every single day. And that's what monthly pastel painting lessons online is really, really meant to be. And this year, especially more than all the other years, is just chock full of shimmering, beautiful, fun lessons and demonstrations. I, I went way deeper into my understanding of pastels, and in turn, I get to pass that on to you guys, which makes me really happy. Um, the sessions, uh, the, the subjects and the topics that I covered this year, um, a, a, I really was listening to what students wanted, and that really pushed me. In some cases, I it really pushed me pretty hard. <laughs> In other cases, I was right there, like, "Wow, that's I, I want to do this. It's uh, it's great." But but the result to me was tons of growth for me, and hopefully tons of growth for my students as well. The other thing about this year's sessions that I'm really excited about and proud of for, for you guys is that more than the other years, these um, sessions really provide these avenues for you to create your own unique works. And a lot of the subjects this year are pretty simple, everyday subjects, which I actually think are the best. Like for instance, one of the sessions is floral still lives. And it's a great opportunity for you to do your to extend out those sessions into your own unique works, set up your own still life. Um, you don't have to go out anywhere and take photos of any, you know, out in the world, out in the landscape. Just set it up in your house, different lighting, different viewpoints. And um, a, a, many of the sessions are like that this year. So, you know, if you, if you do that, just you've made that leap from just copying the lessons to creating your own unique works of art. Um, so I think that that's, you know, that's the way you definitely want to head, right? Um, and by the way, the one of the pieces from the floral still life session was just accepted into Pastel Society of America um, and during Brilliance show this year. So we're off to a really good start. We've got a good, um, a good piece in there already. Uh, and we're also introducing a bunch of new features, which I'm just going to briefly talk about. One of the ones that I'm super excited, well, there's many that I'm really happy to be um, presenting to you, but one of them is Mastery Mindset. It's really harnessing that transformative power I truly believe that art um, provides for us. And to me, my art is messy. It's got lots of paradoxes, lots of dichotomies, lots of conundrum to it. Uh, and th that's what makes it so interesting and challenging and makes painting such a lifelong 
learning experience and journey. But it can be hard to navigate that. And so mastery mindsets really means to exploring that and navigating it um, and to stop and smell the roses along the way, even when things get a little tough in there. And they, they inevitably do. I'm going to be talking about different modes of learning, ways of getting into those kind of alpha states, kind of quiet down that left brain that's kind of gets in the way sometimes of our painting and to be how to be ready for the fairies to come in and help us out. I love that. Uh, mastery mindset helps us set aside and traditional ideas of linear progression, that beginner, intermediate, advanced way of thinking about art. And rather than that, realize that those, the core fundamentals of painting, we can always be tapping into those wherever we are on our journey. And we tap into those core principles in different ways, depending on where we're at. And I think that that's um, a more appropriate way of thinking about learning. So you're going to see lots and lots of material from me about that, about helping you to maximize your potential and outgrow these sort of limiting ideas about um, painting perspectives that can kind of hold us back. Uh, also, I want to think, help you guys think about, um, look, for me, I, I let myself get kind of swept away by something that I'm working on. You know, I'm, I, I kind of go on a tear. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on landscape or I'm going to start doing procreate portraits or whatever it is that I've got going. And, uh, you know, how do we, how do we, um, how do we, how do we do that? I think it's really important to, to kind of um, take on that momentum, ride that momentum of what we're doing. But uh, we, we don't want to, we don't want it to, to, we want to do that in an entirely productive and positive way. So mastery mindset can hopefully be a nice tool to help you do that as well. And I think as artists, we have to, we have to harness that energy and um, we also have to, again, navigate the ebbs and flows of that because that can be really tricky, lead to the, those ups and downs, um, artist blocks and so on. So um, it's kind of like managing an economy for me. Uh, also, different subject matter and different tastes uh, is that's a really opportunity for an artist to, to really get that individual style going and get your own unique look to your work. But um, as artists, I think that we, um, as you mature in your practice of art, your tastes, your, your interests, your inspirations evolve and they become a little more subtle. Um, so something that you might have overlooked at one time early in your progression can kind of suddenly just stand out like, like this glimmering tower, right? Grabbing our attention and it refocuses our growth. And I think that that's re really, really cool. So the sessions that I provided hopefully give you ideas of how to look at different things through that artist's eye and um, give you some cool ideas on how to pro um, progress. We're also introducing learning pathways this year. Uh, I know um, some artists want a little more guidance and kind of can feel overwhelmed by our what is now a really vast library. Uh, and everyone's also got different styles of learning. So I, I have a lot of respect for that. And so we're introducing learning pathways to help you um, to suggest that an order of how to follow the lessons um, throughout all five years of the content now. Uh, I, but I don't want to discourage, here's the thing guys, that I'm a little, um, the, the way I designed the, the entire program, I never want to discourage beginners from tackling something that has some bigger challenges in it. 
um, like more drawing skill, just a, a, a different kinds of skills, other tricky aspects. Um, so I always encourage that as well because I think sometimes we can we can make those we can make some grand leaps by you know making making um, forcing ourselves to to do those more challenging things. So we've already posted beginner, intermediate, and advanced pathways. <laughs> I know that sounds like um, I'm contradicting myself, but I'm 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 really not. We're 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 um, we're going to use those tools to help you grow and connect with that free space of learning. So uh, really okay. quick, Marla, Allison yeah. says that she's um, really liking the learning pathways. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we're I'm working on some other ones. We're going to introduce um, ones that, that fo pathways that focus on color, composition, um, and then subject matter like birds, animals, um, land, simple landscapes. Those, so those are coming right up. I've, I'm working on those currently. So there'll be quite a good number of them um, pretty pretty soon. The other feature that I am just we're we're already kind of pretty deep into is Art Speak. We're introducing candid conversations and lessons with modern masters, and this isn't just a bunch of interviews and lessons. It's really a doorway into some of the coolest um, and most important pastelists working uh, today in our field. Um, and these are really up close chats. These are a lot of my friends and colleagues that I've been lucky to um, interact with and meet at IOPS over the years and in other, uh, other venues. So we're going to find out what inspires them, um, what problems they faced. Um, and, and how they're making their art, talk about their processes and their perspectives, their wins and their losses. So we have a really balanced view of what it's like to be working in the field today. And I'm loving tapping into their wisdom. We've already um, done quite a few of these interviews and it's just been really eye-opening for me as well. And I'm sure, positive that it's gonna be for you. Um, just some of the luminaries that we are, we've already got on board, which I'm um, really, that we're going to hear from. Tony Elaine, Corey Pitkin, Andrew McDormand, um, Co uh, Colette Oda-Smith, Jacob Aguilar, Lynn Aselta, Mike Beeman, and more. So that is so exciting, <laughs> and it's just been so refreshing to talk to these guys. We're, we've, been, uh, we've been doing that actually all week. Yeah, so it's really, really cool. Can't wait to share these demonstrations and interviews. So it's really, really wonderful. Other features in addition to our new features, we'll continue to be doing the super streams, which are um, streams, uh, uh, live streams, where we go above and beyond anything that I do here that's, that's a free demo. The critique streams. Also inside the artist studio where I'm going to be share, sharing my kind of personal struggles, kind of what I'm up to. Um, you'll also have access to the two-year two archive of monthly mileage training, which are just little exercises. So if you've got 15 minutes, you can do those. Um, also, we have member discounts. So anybody that's a subscriber gets special discounts. We'll continue to do the Facebook group. We've really grown an amazing, supportive community. The Facebook group is just so cool. Um, I'm really proud of w what people share and post and how helpful they are. It's just a really supportive, inspiring space. Um, so for more info on all those features, make sure you head to the website, paintinglessonswithmarla.com, and check them out. I'm always trying to find new and innovative ways to teach and ignite your inspiration. Uh, so I've always got, I've got some new ideas up my sleeve and I'll be hope, hope, hopefully have time to, to do all of that. Um, so it's a really, it is an amazing value, you guys. Um, I think it's over 250 videos, um, way over 250 hours of video content. Um, I should be raising the price this year with everything, with inflation and everything, um, but I'm not doing that. 
Uh, I really should, but I'm not. Um, I'd rather have more, just get more people on board to be able to share in what we're doing. Um, as I said at the beginning, I just honestly have such gratitude and humility for being able to do this for so long and um, in such a wonderful, with a wonderful team that I have. Just a, we have just a little team, but we get we get stuff done. It's really amazing. Um, so I just want to, um, I'm just happy to be able to share that. Um, I got to talk about the sales. Um, we have summer, a summer sale going on and there are sale coupons. There's a celebration code coupon for $42 off any standalone workshop. And that coupon code is five love. I think it's in the chat, the coupons. The main subscription, Monthly Pastel Painting Lessons Online, is on sale right now. The coupon code is for $85 off the first 12 months only, but and that's for new yearly subscribers, and that is five year. There's a coupon code for one month free for new monthly subscribers, five month. And those coupon codes expire on August 8th, guys. Um, so, um, yeah, and oh, and all uh, monthly and yearly subscribers get an additional $20 off standalone workshops. So that is really cool. It's, it is really a tremendous deal, and we intend it to be. Now, I am going to play the little video that gives you, it shows you a lot of the images and what we're going to be doing in year, what we are doing, and so many people are already doing. I can't believe some of the members are already posting and just digging way into year five, and it's so exciting to see it. It makes me really happy. Um, but before we play the video, I just want to make sure that you stay tuned, stay with us, because um, I have some really thrilling, exciting news about a giveaway that I'm gonna share after. You have to stay and watch the video. Yep, um, after we play the video, I'll share that with you and then I'll get to the second demo. Okay, so let's play it. Hi, I'm Marla Vegetta. I invite you to join me and my students on an exhilarating journey as we proudly enter the fifth year of monthly pastel painting lessons online. This milestone marks a momentous occasion where we bring forth a curated collection of captivating topics that celebrate the incredible world of art. Throughout this remarkable year, we'll explore a tapestry of subjects that will ignite your imagination and let your creativity blossom. This year's collection promises to deliver the finest selection of lessons yet, showcasing a culmination of knowledge, creativity that surpasses any previous year. Get ready for a year of unparalleled artistry and discovery. As we enter the fifth year of monthly pastel painting lessons online, subscribers will not only gain access to our extensive library of content from years one to four, but also enjoy a brand new year of 12 monthly painting sessions, all at the same very affordable price. For new subscribers, we offer flexible payment options. You can choose to pay monthly and receive cumulative access to five sessions each month, or you can opt for a convenient one-time annual payment and gain immediate access to all 61 sessions, which is the very best value. This comprehensive package now includes over 250 videos and 61 illustrated study guides that I'm confident will provide a wealth of valuable resources that will elevate your painting skills and provide the quickest path to achieving your painting goals. Each session of Monthly Pastel Painting Lessons Online is dedicated to exploring a specific topic, covering a fundamental of painting, or focusing on a captivating subject. Within each session, I know you'll find a treasure trove of resources, including multiple videos, full-length step-by-step demonstrations, 
accompanied by comprehensive study guides. As a member, you'll gain access to a vast wealth of knowledge with hundreds of pages of study material forming an encyclopedia of pastel painting. Additionally, you'll be enjoying over 250 hours of video content within your first 12 months of membership. Throughout the year, I'll be adding a wrap-up lesson to each month that summarizes the month. These wrap-up lessons will provide additional insights and elaboration on the topics covered, enhancing your understanding and mastery of the subject matter. To empower you as a pastel painter, I'm pleased to introduce Mastery Mindset, Conscious Approaches to Artistic Attainment. This new feature is designed to help you break free from traditional notions of linear progression and instead inspire you to engage consistently with the bedrock principles of artistic creation that remain constants that we can always rely on. As you traverse your own artistic path, remember to embrace the freedom that this approach affords. Our monthly lessons are not intended as prescriptive targets, but rather tools crafted to ignite inspiration, foster improvement, and unlock your artistic abilities. Most importantly, these fundamental principles will equip you to successfully create your own body of work, guiding you from concept to completion. For those who want a little more guidance on navigating our library, we introduced Learning Pathways this year. I don't want you to be overwhelmed by all our great content. So these guides provide you with an order of lessons to follow that focus on specific aspects of painting or levels of experience. For example, composition, color, beginners, intermediate, and advanced pathways. I'm delighted to announce another new feature, Art Speak, Candid Conversations and Lessons with Modern Masters. Here you'll find yourself at the heart of an artistic community, offering valuable insights and lessons from contemporary maestros of the art world. Honestly, Art Speak is more than just a series of interviews or lessons. It's a gateway into the minds of some of the most innovative and influential artists of our time. Through these intimate conversations, you'll hear firsthand accounts of artists' inspirations, challenges, and techniques. They share not only their successes, but also their setbacks, providing a really balanced view of what it means to pursue art in the modern era. Don't miss the chance to engage with the masters and learn from their wisdom. We'll continue this year with Inside the Artist Studio. This feature includes videos that I create on my own in my studio, including videos of my personal process, creating new art, working behind the scenes in my studio, sharing my aha moments drawn from personal research and study, as well as candid reflections on my struggles and unsuccessful pieces. Yes, I have those. Each month, subscribers get two live lessons. The first is an in-depth super stream live lesson available only to members. During these live lessons, I don't hold anything back, sharing my process from start to finish. We devote the last hour of these live streams to a lively Q&A and critique session. I give honest, direct, but kind feedback. The second is a two-hour critique lesson. This is a great opportunity for students to participate in a process which offers a direct path to improvement as a pastelist, where you can benefit from my decades of experience as a professional artist and instructor. I really pride myself on critiques that are positive and actionable celebrating the successes of my student, building on what's working, and resolving the things that aren't. This will be the only way to get critiques from me this year, so don't miss out. I want to help you make your good paintings great so that you can go in any direction you want with your work, from simply being more satisfied with your own work to getting into shows and galleries. I'll help you do it. As a member, you'll have access to my monthly mileage training archive. These include two years worth of weekly exercises. These short exercises are not finished paintings, but intended to help you hone your skills and keep you engaged in creating art every day, even when you may not have enough time to devote to a finished piece. I'm a firm believer in a daily painting practice. If you've got 15 minutes, I give you plenty of ideas of how to use them to strengthen your craft. Finally, I want pastel painting lessons online to be the foundation of your painting practice. But if you want to go deep into a specific topic, I recommend my individual online workshops. 
As a member, you'll receive exclusive discounts, including $20 off the price of any of my online workshops. Now that we enter year five, our library has hundreds of hours of video lessons. I want you to think of it as a gym membership or a movie streaming service where the point is not to watch and complete everything that's available, but to enjoy, stay inspired, grow and improve with new content. You'll have access to a members only Facebook group where you'll find a friendly, supportive community of artists to keep you motivated and inspired along the way. We've really built something special together and I'm really proud and grateful. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. I want you to be happy and to take your painting to the next level. So what's new in year five? I'm so excited to share it with you because I think it's the best year yet. Get ready to immerse yourself in an extraordinary collection of painting sessions that explore a diverse range of enchanting subjects from Marla landscapes to the vibrant allure of still life florals, from quirky urbanscapes to the endearing charm of cute critters. Each topic offers a distinct opportunity for artistic expression and growth. Let yourself be amazed as we delve into the expressive world of abstract landscapes. Savor the delicious details of food compositions. Capture the mystery of nighttime scenes and nocturnes and depict the dynamic beauty of water in motion. We'll embark on a colorful exploration of birds, delve into the timeless elegance of roses, cover the appeal of various surface materials and master the challenges of portraits. Monthly pastel painting lessons online is meticulously designed to provide you with a comprehensive and relevant curriculum that will keep you engaged and inspired and invigorated in your pastel practice throughout the entire year. It's my heart intention to ignite the spark of inspiration within you, making it effortless for you to get to your easel with excitement every single day. Intentional mileage is the way to go. With an unparalleled wealth of resources, this membership will absolutely equip you with all the necessary tools to reach your painting goals. There's simply no other resource in the world that rivals the depth and breadth of what we have to offer pastelists. Watching my members progress and grow over time is one of my greatest joys. As you can tell, this subscription is an extraordinary value. I've been teaching for over 35 years and I can honestly say that this membership is better than all the other types of teaching I've done throughout my career from in-person workshops to private lessons. So what are you waiting for? I hope you'll join our thriving community of artists and ignite your creativity. Whether you're a beginner or experienced artist, monthly pastel painting lessons online is truly the ultimate resource to elevate your skills expand your artistic horizons, develop your own unique style, and reach your personal goals as a painter. Start your artistic adventure today and experience the transformative power of pastel painting with us. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for staying and watching. Um, uh, we are obviously really, really um, excited about year five. It's just been amazing. Uh, we worked really hard on it and we're already seeing students um, have some amazing results. So that is just really gratifying. Okay, so on to our really kind of thrilling announcement that we have today. Some of you might um, have seen that I'm doing two in-person workshops. I'm actually doing kind of, um, I'm doing a, what I'm calling garden plein air and personal mentoring. So it's a nice easy way to get into plein air. Um, if you're if you're one of those people, if you're like me at all, you are uh, somebody that is a little, I, I'm, I'm sort of a 
a fair weather plain air person. Um, I don't delve into it too, too, too deeply or hard, so I want it to make it as easy as possible. So this uh, garden plain air is that. It's at my place in, in Milwaukee, Oregon, and my beautiful gardens. And the personal mentoring is an opportunity to get really in-depth, one-on-one critiques. I'll spend tons of time with you, talk to you about your work, what I think you can do to improve it, where you might want to take it, um, what path you want to move forward, uh, whether you're just doing it as a, as a hobby or what you're wanting to get into selling and becoming going pro. Uh, and then loosen up and let go is a three-day. So garden plein air is two-day. Loosen up and let go is three days. And it's my signature loosen up workshop. And again, here at my studio, both, both garden plein air and loosen up are small groups limited to 12 students. And with, with that, so go and check that out. Now, the first, so we have the one, one week, that's the, the, two, the two workshops, and, a, and we opened up a second session because it's the first week sold out, I don't know, it was like four hours, which was a really amazing. Just made my heart just sing. Um, I haven't done an in-person workshop anywhere in I think three years, and it might have been four or five years even since I've done one here and that small of a group. So that all being said, there's a little bit of room in the second, um, the second group, but we have this incredible opportunity for you to win um, starting today and running till the end of Tuesday. We're letting people sign up for three fantastic prizes that you don't want to miss out on. The first is an all-inclusive package including um, exclusively available for our domestic U.S. students. You have a chance to win free tickets to our highly sought after Loosen Up and Let Go and Garden Plein Air and Personal Mentoring, so that's both workshops including airfare. So we'll pay to get you out here. So that's cool. But wait, there's more. <laughs> We're also giving away two tickets for our standalone garden, plein air, and personal mentoring workshop. Um, that's a fantastic opportunity, again, to deepen your plein air painting skills and get that personal mentoring. Um, entering the giveaway is pretty easy. So simply click, click on the link provided in the chat or visit our website. And then go to the in-person, we're showing, we're showing you here, the in-person workshops page. For each workshop, submit your name and your contact details. So you go down and you have to click, you have to find it. You have to go down there and click on that. Um, the deadline for entry is Tuesday, end of day, so make sure you don't miss out. And we'll be announcing the winner winners next week, so stay tuned for that really exciting moment. Um, don't worry if you're not selected this time, we'll be doing this again. I love it. I'm so glad to be able to do that. It's so, so cool. So mark your calendars, visit the link, enter your name for a chance to win. Um, be sure you, you know, you check the dates and everything. Be sure you're gonna be able to, to make it um, and all, all, the, all the rest that that entails. Um, the really cool thing about doing a workshop here, um, it will, first of all, the, the, the first, um, the, the sessions are, are, you know, they're just about filled up, both of them. But I have people coming from all over the, the, the mostly, I think, I don't think we have any international people coming as of yet, but um, coming from all over the U.S., but the good thing about doing a workshop here is I want you to pack light. Um, bring pastels, yes, bring paper, but you, I've got easels, I've got extra pastels. You can buy extra paper from me here. You don't need to bring you know, all this stuff. You can travel super light. And because that's one of the things about doing a, um, traveling to do a workshop is you have to bring so much stuff and I want to make it really easy and really fun and just, just a big, big old 
party of joyful painting. So um, that's that's my plan. It's going to be really, really fun. OK. All right. So on to my next little demo here. I'm going to do a different kind of variation. Um, this time I'm going to start with a charcoal drawing. And I'm going to move that around with a little bit of an alcohol wash. And then I'm going to, to do some pastel over the top of it. So let's just get going right away on that. <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, I'm just kind of over the moon about being able to invite people in here. I'm just getting a little value down here is essentially what I'm trying to do at this point. So I should put my hair up again and get this out of the way. And what are the workshop dates again? You have to check the website. Check it's the in the mid, mid to late September. Um, I'm sorry, I should know that, but you know what, you guys, I, I have so much to keep in my head. I try, I try not to keep too much stuff in my head. So It's kind of a perfect time of year in Oregon. Yeah, honestly. it is. It's a really nice time of year. It the weather be... will most likely be really, really nice. Yeah. And if it's not, we've got ways of handling that too. <laughs> so yeah, Pete. it's going it's to it's gonna be a rain or shine. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it happen. But I usually, usually I, we have good weather well into early October, so I don't think we're going to be in any trouble. Don't plan anything in Oregon on Halloween, that's for sure. No, I know Halloween. Halloween's usually the time that it really starts. Huh? The, by the, the early October, it starts out gorgeous. It's beautiful fall color. And then by the end of October, it's uh, usually we're, we're in, into that time. Where, So get to share the garden before it gets kind of the, the last hurrah of the garden. Okay, so this is a little alcohol wash. It My brush has a little color on it. That's okay. This is pastel matte. Doing a workshop here, it's also get, making me get my garden in shape, that's for sure. That's fun, though. All right, that's at least a little something to play with. And that usually, that's my goal with any kind of underpainting. Just something to give me some ideas, get me into the scene. Just get me going. I'm going to dry this right here. I've got this right here, so might want to. Okay, so Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I want this one to be intentionally a lot different than the other one. So I'm going to think about it being a little high key on the high key side. Um, so what do I want here? I'm going to just pick a couple of things here. All right. Hopefully preserve some of maybe you know maybe I'll get to keep some of what's going on there in that underpainting. Maybe I'll add to it. So maybe maybe stick into some more neutral. 
kind of stuff would be fun. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? I'm gonna give these a little bit of a real neutralized muted color. That's pretty fun though. Thinking about the contour. So there, even though this is really simple, there's some drawing going on here. Just thinking about a little bit of perspective. You know, and I'm the I'm kind of furthering the drawing with the direction of my marks, the velocity of my marks. That's nice. All right, how about to get that sky going? vertical marks, some kind of more hatching type marks. So I'm a painter that I like to um, build my my paintings with a variety of mark making. Um, uh, and there are some pastelists that kind of stick to uh, just a couple of different kinds of marks. And there's no right or wrong way there. Just kind of what you like, what's exciting to you. You can't you can't really make a mistake. Just try try out different stuff. Now that's cool. This is a little warmer. Right, that's neat. And then um, from there, I introduce a little bit of the light, just a little difference in we go a little bit more. All right, so now we got to get that river going. That's the tricky part to come. And I, I I never did this the same way twice, I don't think, when I was doing all these. I'm always kind of different, which was also kind of fun. That's nice. I'm going to give it a little gradation here. So the little gradation is bringing my viewer up into that um, focal point, which right in here. Get that down a little bit and actually and, uh, might be fun to get this a little and I'm pressing pretty hard here. What else do I want to do? Let's 
I'm going to bring a little more intensity of color in here. So what I just did there, I brought some in more, a little bit more intense color, and now I'm just coming back over with something a little more neutral, and so setting some of that back. So I'm putting something down, and then responding to, and okay, I I I I I, I like it, but I I want to come back and and neutralize that a bit. I like that. Um, I'm super tempted now to 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 add in some of this. Yep, gonna do it. A little bit of aqua, turquoise. Oh yeah. little scratchy marks, maybe even up in here. And then and this is the spruce blue. I'm gonna put something down in one spot, gonna echo it someplace else. Don't need to overdo it, but that's cool. I think that's it, guys. I like how it turned out. So yeah, I'll put these up on Etsy. So if anybody wants to wants to get them, they they can. One one last thing. One, I have one other idea, and then I'm going to be done. <laughs> I because I've got the aqua in there. What if that distant mountain, instead of being just the gray, was a little bit cooler? Um, that's the same. Like that because. I just think that would look good. Let's see. It's too light. I'm just trying to find something that's the, that. Yeah, let's see what happens when we do this. Yeah, that's good. So that cooler, it's going to set that back just a little bit. As, as things recede towards the horizon, in terms of aerial perspective, things get um, they get lighter, they get softer, they get duller, and they get cooler. So just by making that a little cooler, it pushes it back uh, just, uh, just a little, just enough. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so let's, so can we see both of these together? Well, let, well, let me put the mat on this one too. Do you want to put them down on the... Uh, oh, yeah, person? I could do that. Yeah. That's I'm going to sign them. Um, let me make sure I've got it. Yeah. Um, or well, we can put it... We can keep them on the board. One of, uh, if you put that... I'll put them, I'll put them on the tape table. Let me okay. just give me a second. go. Put them down here. Nice. Really fun for me to revisit these guys. All right, there we go. There they are. Okay, and yeah, make sure you head to the website and sign up for those if you want if you want to come to the in-person workshops. All right. Sorry the mat's so dirty. 
I know my mom's going <laughs> to give me a, a hard time about that. She doesn't like that. All right. And so these okay. will, these are for sale on Etsy. Yes, they are for sale on Etsy. I'll, I'll post them later today. Um, after I have some lunch, <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you get a chance to paint and just enjoy the absolute joy of painting and drawing. And um, definitely head to the website, paintinglessonswithmarla.com, and check out year five. It's pretty awesome. All right, guys. See you soon.